Joining me now is Victor Davis Hansen, Hoover Institution Senior Fellow. Victor, um, uh, there's an opportunity that Republicans, I think, need to take advantage of here um, as Biden is, sees his own base turning against him. But you see there is a push to lurch back to the establishment and the pro-war coalition of the Republican Party as well. Yeah, I think Kamala Harris had it absolutely backwards. All these issues, the borders, uh, the trans issue with biological males competing in, in women's sports, uh, inflation, they all offend the inner city blacks, Hispanics, and now they've alienated over the Israel question, Jewish, the Jewish community. And they can, they can get away with this, Laura, historically when they have a hard left base and they can veneer it over with a very rhetorical, mellifluous Barack Obama or Bill Clinton, they can get away with it. But otherwise, when they have a George McGovern or Jimmy Carter, it doesn't work. And that left becomes more pronounced. And that's what Joe Biden is. He's a force multiplier because of his cognitive problems and really his meanness, his corruption problems. He's a force multiplier of this division. And we're starting to see now this Gaza really tore this scab off, and we're seeing a putrid wound of what the Democratic Party is. It's pro the basis, it, let's face it, it's pro Hamas, it's pro open borders. It's pro uh, ban gas engines and natural gas stoves. And that doesn't appeal to middle class people. It only appeals to the very wealthy bicoastal elite and the subsidized poor. And they have a real problem because they can't paper it over with a guy like Joe Biden. He's, he's uh, as I said, Jimmy Carter and George McGovern redukes. So it yeah. gives enormous opportunity for a populist Republican Party to appeal to these disaffected voters. And if they can unite around a candidate that can do that, They'll win, and they'll win overwhelmingly. Well, over at MSNBC, you'll be shocked to know, Victor, that the elites from the you know Council on Foreign Relations, those types, um, they're panicking that America actually might move back to focusing on America first. Watch this. We've gone from a America first under Donald Trump to alliance first under Joe Biden. This is a partnership-based foreign policy. If Donald Trump were to come back, suddenly these partnerships would all be placed at risk. Foreign policy implications of this election are arguably going to be greater than yes. any election in modern history. Victor, what are, what are all those alliances? I, I, have I missed the huge amount of money that Europe is putting into the war in Ukraine? Uh, have I missed that? They don't understand that the world is being remade before our very eyes, Laura. We're not an ally of Turkey anymore. Turkey really doesn't belong in NATO. We see that. Gutter is working hand, uh, hand in glove with Hamas, and yet we have a CENTCOM base in Gutter. And they keep talking about offensive operations and disproportionate use of force in Ukraine. And that's exactly what they tell the Israelis not to do. So they're incoherent. They never tell us we're going to have X amount of billions of dollars for these programs uh, for foreign aid. And some of it's probably arguably necessary, especially with Israel. But they never tell us where the money's coming from. We're going to cut here to spend here or we're going to tax. They never do. It's always we're going to print more money for this agenda. And then we look at it and we say, well, how did Libya turn out? How did Syria turn out? What is, why is Turkey threatening to attack our ally, Israel? What is Gutter doing with CENTCOM? And then it's, how about Iraq it's working and with Afghanistan? Hamas. And they haven't, yeah, and with the <laughs> yeah, Kabul. How are those they never out? say they're sorry. They never say no. they're sorry. They never say they're going to learn from their mistakes. It's trust us, and we don't trust them anymore. Victor, great to and see you. And yeah, yeah. the voters are gone. Yeah, the voters are on the base of both parties. Thank you. Hey everyone, I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.